All right, it's uh, 4.30. So that gives that makes it about five and a half hours since the last time we finished putting the epoxy on, the 2K urethane. And it, I'm gonna go ahead, this time I'm not gonna do as much. Um, let's see here. As you can see, I'm about, I used about half the last time. So what I'm gonna do in order to have the two coats is I'm gonna use about half, so I, I'm gonna go 99 grams and then I'm gonna do 132. So here we go. Whoop. All right, I went 101, 101.5. Okay, now we're gonna do the activator. All right. Yeah, 136, more or less. All right, so now we're gonna start for five minutes. I'm not gonna bore you. And then, uh, yeah, we'll let it sit for 30 minutes. Clock is ticking. Time for the weekend. Work is coming to an end. I got my eyes wide open. Savoring the moment. Trying to breathe it all in. If I could slow down the clock, I would. When I'm with you, I just feel so good. I'd hit replay every single night. So for now, let's just take our time. Now that I've got you by my side, tell me you're ready for the ride. You know we're gonna make it last all night. All right, 30 minutes has elapsed. We are gonna go ahead and I, I, I kind of set things up a little differently this time. Um, since I'm not really doing this to show you exactly every brush right over my shoulder, um, and I'm just more than likely going to time lapse this, I'm just putting everything into position to where it's easy for me to access. Um, I decided I was going to go ahead and do the 2K urethane on this just so it doesn't get any rust. Um, I want to be able to preserve the number four here, so if rust got in here, we kept having to take off the rust. I don't know how much longer that four would last. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and 2K urethane this too. I think I... I went ahead and decided to go with the foam brushes again. I don't have, uh, I have very few little holes here to try to get within. Um, and uh, these actually worked really good. Plus I had four of them um, left over and I prevented me from having to go to the store. So let's begin. Okay, well, that's the potentially the last coat. I think I was able to touch up most areas that needed um, a second coat, and uh, I still have plenty again. Um, so if I do need to come up, make another coat, I, I should have plenty to go. Um, no real issues with the with the brush. You can see I kind of improvised. Originally, I was thinking I was going to have to do um, two parts on this, but then I was just trying to figure out how to. Uh, make that work so I can go ahead and put the uh, 2k on there um, and figured that out um, put a little too much on when I was doing here on the other side I was starting to get a lot of bubbles from the brush then just kept working it and and it kind of 
uh, well, that, that was able to work out all the bubbles. Doesn't mean that they're all gone. There may still be some there. Um, but uh, for the most part, yeah, I think we're good. So I'm going to let these dry overnight. Um, and then we will come back and check in and see how everything came out. Hey, good morning. Um, let's see here. It's about 8.30 this morning. Um, I've already mixed up some epoxy. I did a 33 grams to a, a total of 44 grams to get that three to one mixture um, to do my little touch-ups. I'm inside today because right now here we got the June gloom going on again. It's about 90% humidity. So what that does is my patio covering starts to drip and I didn't want it to possibly um, screw up something when I'm hoping to be on the last step. So uh, let's do a brief recap on how things have come out. Um, so real fast, these two pieces here are good, these two small pieces. And unfortunately, when I was looking at this piece, there was one place that I didn't get and it was barely noticeable. Uh, so I'm gonna have to, uh, uh, I'm gonna have to find number one, it's, like I said, it's barely noticeable. Oh, okay, uh, right under here. Uh, I'm gonna have to get here and the, the tricky part when applying this resin is it, it's really kind of difficult to see if you miss a spot. I know there's another place that I didn't get. I, it's within some of these gaps here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, do the touch up on this one um, and then finish it up. All right, on this one, we had already planned on doing uh, two two fixes. So I'm not sure how good this is covered, how good this is seen in the camera, but there's some places right here that are just not like the other. You know, it's not critical, but since I'm, since I'm doing it anyways, then I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and do it now. Oh man, there's a, didn't even see this last night. So this, this is what was happening occasionally. Um, so, um, here, there's just a lot of bubbles. So what I'm gonna try to do is it, it got a little heavier there. Um, it must have been when it was hanging upside down like this, uh, drying. Uh, when I turned it over last night, I didn't see this, uh, probably because it was dark. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't get to take it off. Because uh, um, one of the things that I realized that when you're doing this is at the six hour part um, time, when it's good to go ahead and put on the other coat, this, this feels kind of like rubber cement. Um, you can easily just kind of like scratch it off, um, which I did in a couple of places on here, but I missed that one. So unfortunately, um, I, I've actually got some uh, 150 sandpaper for my orbital sandpaper. I'm gonna try to um, take that down, see if I can fix it. Um, if, if not, you know, whatever. Uh, another thing on a mistake that I made last night is I thought everything was good, so I wanted to bring these pieces in just in case, and I put this on a rug, and I thought it was dry enough so it wouldn't take anything, but it, it has some hair and everything, so that, that just wasn't smart on me. Um, so, so, so lesson learned, put it like on some plastic if you're gonna do that, or something that just won't stick uh, and get all up in it like this did. Um, there are, let's see here, overall, I, I think there was like maybe one place I wanted to kind of address on here, um, but it came out looking pretty good. Yeah, so there was some, uh, th those bubbling that I saw um, that I was talking about yesterday, it, it's definitely present here. Maybe I'll try to see if I can sand that down a little bit or I'll just be like, whatever. Yeah, but besides that, besides some cosmetic things, this, 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 one, this piece is good. And then on this piece, Oh yeah, oh, I forgot to mention on this piece real fast. So there's actually two places that I want to get. I want to get right here that looks like it, it might have got covered, but I can't tell. It definitely doesn't have the same coating as over here. And I was already planning to do some touch-ups here. So what I'm going to do in order so that I can hit both sides is I'm just going to put it, hit both sides, put it on this uh, tape roll here, and then let it dry so that I can get both sides. Because the intent is after this one, I am done. And hopefully I'm putting this together tonight. On um, this piece, this piece is actually looking pretty good. I think um, I think overall, what I would be recommending as far as using a thinner for pour fifteen is is this goes on. This is it comes it naturally is very thick. Um, so I'm thinking probably maybe like doing a ten percent uh, thinner. 
would, would, would help out uh, to get a more even coat. That is the one thing I'm, I'm realizing like this. So Pour 15 is designed to, you know, to go onto the bottom of trucks and to really protect and take a beating, uh, um, you know, outdoors. So I'm probably not really using it for what it's meant to be. I just figured since it was planning on, it's designed to take a beating on trucks and off road, that if I'm putting it on a vice where I'm possibly going to be beating it up, then it would be good product. So that's why I chose to use Pour 15 on this. Um, whether it's right or wrong. Actually, now I am going to do some touch-ups. It looks like there's some parts here that just didn't fill into some of the gaps. So I'll do some touch-ups just only on the top of here since everything else is getting done. Yeah, but that one that one is looks good. So um, on this one, kind of going into, again, it just it's, it's pretty thick. So when I put on the next coat here, there's like some waves. Um, there are some like waves on how the it, it the 2k urethane doesn't when it when it dries it doesn't dry evenly like the regular um, initial paint over rust base um, so that's that is one thing that I noticed um, with this thing um, but uh, being that that's cosmetic and it looks all for the most part covered let me make sure there's no other part that I didn't cap didn't see Oh, that's looking good. Check the bottom. Check the end. Now, it looks like last night I took off some excess here, so I'll probably just go ahead and um, put some over the top of this and see if that covers uh, covers that. But this piece, with the exception of the cosmetics, is looking pretty decent. Yep, a little extra in here. There we go. So, actually, this was able to come out. So I'll try that on some of the other pieces. But you can see this. This still came off a little bit like a sort of rubber cement. So that's telling me that this isn't complete, completely dry yet. So maybe, maybe I might not. Uh, maybe that's due to how thick it was. But uh, maybe I might not put it together tonight because it's eight thirty. Um, I'll probably be done by nine o'clock. And that all, and so I may end up having to put it together tomorrow, maybe tomorrow morning after it's had 24 hours. But uh, not too much more to go. So, you know, it's, it's time to just finish it. So let's send it. Oh, I forgot to mention that since I am inside in order to kind of like, this stuff, you know, definitely has some fumes to it. Um, it's, it's not that bad, but just as a precaution, um, since I am working inside, you can kind of see over, I get the, window open um, behind me. I got this window open. I got that window open. I got my whole house fan turned on. So I got good ventilation coming through right now. Um, and I'll plan, and since it's San Diego, even though it's like the middle of summer here and approaching the end of June, we're still at like 76 degrees here. So it's beautiful here. So no issues on keeping the windows or anything open for the day. All right, now let's send it. Clock is ticking. Time for the weekend. Work is coming to an end. I got my eyes wide open, savoring the moment, trying to breathe it all in. If I could slow down the clock, I would. When I'm with you, I just feel so good. Okay. Well, uh, that's that's the end of a. Uh... That's the end of the final coat. I am happy at least that everything is now covered. I've looked over things pretty extensively. And if I didn't get it after that one, then oh well. Um, so some of the uh, so, some of the things that I tried and seemed to work pretty good actually was uh, definitely doing the sandpaper to kind of fix up some areas. Um, and uh, for example, I'm not going to pull it up. We'll see what it looks like in the end to see if it actually does work. But I, I sanded off some of the areas that had a little excess. Um, this is probably the worst one here, um, uh, but uh, you know what? That that that's probably gonna, that's gonna be covered with a bolt and a washer. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that one. And and in time that may even wear away. So um, I'm I'm definitely not too worried about that. And uh, yeah, I, I think for my very first time ever using a epoxy resin, this is uh, uh, it, it didn't go didn't go perfect but it didn't go bad either. So as far as trying to meet the intent on making sure that I'm preserving this piece um, for as long as I can, I, I feel that I've done at least what I know I could do 
and it's a it's a good point so it's now just before nine o'clock and it's a 12 hour dry time so being that there were some areas that were a little bit still not so not hardened i'm gonna go ahead and uh, not plan to put this together until tomorrow um, however in the meantime although you're not going to see it on this video i am going to then uh, go ahead and pull out my thickness planer and start uh, getting into the restoration on that so today i'll i'll go ahead and start taking that apart 